So welcome everyone to this uh, AUA, the day of the bulls with day trade masters with myself, Corey Gardner, Justin Babcock, we the bulls in the camp. This comes into when a trade setup was posted. Um, really, the first thing I always do is go to CoinGecko. So PundyX, for instance, we can scroll down. This is on the website. You can use the browser on your phone, but do not use the app because it will not reflect these. This is where we come in and look. So PundyX, bring it up for Binance, or, uh, KuCoin as well. So Binance BUSD, the 2%. So when we say plus minus 2% depth, this is the numbers that we're looking at. So if you're taking $18,000, 234, we want to be specific, and you market by Pundi X, you're going to push the, the price up 2%. So that's where if we're on the bottom with some of these small coins and we're just getting in, the, if it's like $500, say, for two, the plus 2%, $500, and you go to put a market order in of $1,000, you're going to push that price up 4%. That's where we just we want to be a little cautious, a little bit more, you know, if you're doing market orders, make two market orders or four, you know, take it a little bit slower and just ladder in. Uh, same as on the profits. So if um, we're coming to the top and we go to market order. We made a killing. We're trying to make, you know, we're trying to sell $100,000 worth of Pundi X and we go to market order on Binance, it's going to push the price down three, 4%. If we try to do that on KuCoin, for instance, $10,000, that's the 2% depth. Yeah. So $10,000. So if you try and market order $100,000 worth of Pundi X on KuCoin, it's going to push the price down 20% right so because it doesn't have that liquidity um for some of the larger ones I, I recommend having both honestly i use binance more so for the larger liquidity plays i love kucoin for the smaller pairs the volatility it's fast action you know make your grocery money pay your rent like that's it's quick and easy but you try and you know if you're trying to trade you know 100,000 plus on kucoin it can be you got to be diversifying your approach for sure because a lot of these coins you know 2500 bucks is all you can really do you know for two percent you know if you make you know four allocations and just be a little bit more patient you can get in and get out but compared to binance where it's just like market order you're in and out no big deal right so DeFi also pretty much the same idea but we want stop losses last week on this call we went through pundi x and adding positions so for those that jumped in with us we got in right around here. So right on the entry line, and that ties into some of the training that we have available to do. So some really nice gains here, uh, a week flat, and we're realizing well, 50% gains, or if you're still hanging on, then it is sitting about 38% up. So either way, it worked out really well. Well, so these are the types of plays that we discuss in DTM Premium. When it retraces, we get back in which levels we're looking at. But when we're talking the detonator and when we're looking at putting these trade setups out, we're looking at this wave here. So if you're not familiar with this, this is the detonator. We've got A, B, one, well, a, B and C, uh, but the core one is here. So what I really look at for the early entries that we discuss in DTM Premium is starting to get some bullish divergence we see a turnaround we tell we talk about the trigger waves quite often with utc course but this is where we get our entries this is a shift in momentum and if we can get in early great we take the safe entries on the blue line for those that are newer to trading this is a confirmation of that momentum shift and it's much more safe to get in so we've got some numbers um we keep track every single week, every single month, uh, going back the last 15 months or so, and really running these wins and losses. So if you get in, some of these spikes are even bigger. So 70%, an extra 20%. But the idea is to reduce your risk. So when we can get these early positions, we can add a stop loss right into entry or a little bit above. So if the market drops out completely, or if like A on this week, they're delisting from Binance, it's just an announcement, all of a sudden that thing drops 25%, you know, that's not something that we can factor in when we're putting the trade set up out, especially when it happens three days later, but that way you're protected. This is what we call a risk-free trade setup. It's all profits from here. You're not risking any of your seed capital and you can ride it up. So this is an example of one that you can ride with stop loss. 
Um, it's not a bad idea when the markets permit that trading strategy. Some of these, they pop off and they retrace right away. So that's where the take profit strategy comes in or using our OCO strategies. All of this is available. So make sure to check it out. We've got video tutorials, walk uh, walkthrough, and even step-by-step -step blogs as well. So as we can see with this one it never really made any lower low there was no big retracement there wasn't really a second attempt to get additional entries either it just slowly staggered itself up as bitcoin was dropping and then as soon as bitcoin bottomed that transition was huge for these alts we're seeing some pop off like this already others are gearing up so they're coming out with very similar patterns. Um, but this is where we can recognize those patterns. We put these trade setups out. We teach you how to use these trade setups to the fullest ability, but then there is additional one-on-one -on -one, uh, time available. Trade safe, keep your risk management, and we'll see you guys next week, Friday again.